So how do you feel about going to Washington today? I'm excited. I can't wait to get there. Why are you, my people. Why are you excited? Because the chance. Dance there? What is oh, no, I won't be dancing. I'll be marching and I'll be advocating for Puerto Rico. <laughs> Along with everyone else here. But what would you be marching for? Uh, so many things. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely repealing the Jones Act, more transparency, elimination of the debt, all that good stuff. Puerto Rico needs to be heard. Today we're gonna be heard. I want all of you to meet this young lady. Stay right there. This young lady. This young lady. This young lady walks into my office one day, bringing in cases of water herself. <laughs> and I said, I know you from somewhere. I have people. But she, she filled up my one of my room in my office, full of everything, pampers, food, Tons everything, of and cases yeah. of water yeah. from her church. Yeah. We did a drive, and um, Jose was kind enough to let us take all the the. Stuff to his his office, and we took yeah. over his office. <laughs> yes, yeah. dumped it all on him, and he took care of us. And a few days later, we had a. You were there, a double forty. Yes. Okay. Uh, at the. At the plaza. At the plaza. Yeah. And that was a very exciting. Puerto Rico. Huh? Levantando Puerto Rico. That was in Levantando Puerto Rico. Yeah, Levantando Puerto Rico. That's right. I love the speech you gave at City Hall when they were celebrating in Cinco de Mayo. And I love the way you turned it around and began to talk about how Puerto Rico, how happy you were to be celebrating their day, but that Puerto Rico still was not free. And I love that speech. And I really, really appreciated you in your role. That's the end of my story. <laughs> I, did. I thought it was beautiful. You were so articulate. You really put the message out there. For a guy that was thrown out of high school, I was articulate? Yes, you were. Te votaste. En la calle, que me Pero te sirvió de algo. Oh. Free Puerto Rico. Free Puerto Rico. Free Puerto Rico. Uh, I love it. I love it. Yes, so yes. we'll take yes, a picture. We'll with hold it. it. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Hey people, when we get off of the bus, we're family now. We just took a big ride. You know what family has to do? Family has to take a photo together. Yes. Oh. Alright, yeah, so yeah. we're gonna do that in front of the bus. I'd encourage all of you get to know each other. Right? Find out what people do Look what I have. so I'm that we can come away with connection yeah. and strength. All right? Yeah. 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 Oh, look. Bueno, mi gente de Nueva York, aquí estamos en frente del Capitolio de Washington DC, en los Estados Unidos, aquí mandando un mensaje claro, que los puertorriqueños ya basta de insultarnos, de tratarnos como segunda clase, vamos a hacer bulla, vamos a movilizarnos, vamos a demandar justicia para Puerto Rico, vamos a organizar nuestra comunidad, como en una época se hizo, se dejó atrás ese trabajo, ahora hay que volver a esa lucha de, de, de movilizarnos, de poner a un lado las diferencias que a veces tenemos, para unirnos por nuestra isla, por nuestra gente que está sufriendo, que están pasando la mal, que están sin agua, sin luz, que siguen sufriendo el, el, las desventajas que este país continúa de implementar en Puerto Rico. Somos ciudadanos americanos y nos merecemos mejor. Así que desde Nueva York estamos aquí junto a Conérico, que está Conérico, presente también. Conérico, Bridgeport, Connecticut, aquí con Marcos, 
Y mi hermano PJ y... Um, Estamos aquí Buenas. también diciendo presente, presente. Al, alzando la, la bandera de nosotros con orgullo. La primera vez en 50 y pico años que yo veo algo así de puertorriqueño aquí en el Capitolio diciendo presente. Todos votantes. Lo más importante es que no estamos aquí diciendo que esto y esto y no somos votantes. Somos votantes. Se puede hacer cambio. Y aquí es donde empieza el cambio. Una pregunta. Este... Acá la comienza el programa. Muchas cosas buenas han surgido de lo malo que representa María y Donald Trump. Uh -huh. eh, ¿Hacia dónde vamos después del día de hoy? ¿Vamos a una campaña masiva de inscripción en contra de Donald Trump? ¿O hacia dónde vamos? ¿Cómo we turn this into the next? I think that, that, that this sets us up to putting our congressmen and our senators on point as to what they do while they're here. They know when they look at a sea of Puerto Ricans like we have right now and growing, that when they make a vote that affects us, we can in turn now affect their position in, in, in politics. We can eliminate people who don't agree with us and we can bring in people who do based on this type of demonstration. This is how it starts, brother. This is how it starts. We're making it happen. I'm glad Marcus, I got a chance to meet Marcus here. Marcus Crespo, good brother. He's invited to Bridgeport, Connecticut at any time, as is all, everybody here. Hector, are you open for a simple idea, na nationwide, massive voter registration drive? Very clear. I. You guys, sometimes you say we got to be nonpartisan. I am not. No. I am anti-Trump, and I want to see if I can be part of a campaign making it clear this is about you that you got to get out of here. I agree with you. I agree with you wholeheartedly. Well, say we've always been on the same page. Me and well, you say that, that there's more than that because we're all. I agree with you on the anti-Trump sentiment, but there's a congressional race that's going to come up. There's a midterm election that we have we have to hold accountable. Doesn't matter. I'm the chairman of the Democratic Party in the Bronx, like you was one day, my brother. But this is bigger than that. This is to hold everybody accountable. Republican, Democrat, independent, whoever. If you don't stand with Puerto Rico, if you don't fight for us to speak for us, we, we got to remember that. And la comunidad tiene que movilizarse con ese sentimiento, con esa idea de que we have to start coming together again and prioritizing this issue for the people in Puerto Rico, for those of us in the diaspora that have a vote to have a vote on behalf of our brothers and sisters and our family on the island. I agree all heartily. this young man here? Yes, sir. He took us to Puerto Rico. There was more than 50 of us a week ago. And he had me climbing up the hill, <laughs> the mountains <laughs> of Santurce, you mean the all over. You mean the mountains didn't move for you? Uh, Jose, uh, did they know it was you? He the had me working, <laughs> documented. I haven't had time to, to hold on. I haven't had time to put it up yet. All right. But I, I am a witness, and this camera is a witness of what he left in the, Excellent. from the Bronx to Puerto Rico. Not only did he brought thousands of cases of water, he, we collected thousands of cases. My understanding is that he had a ship to Vieques, Puerto Rico. Wow. Thousands. The other thing is that uh, he, in my video, would show that after hearing so many people criticizing and complaining whether whatever we collected is getting to the people, my video will show that, that it, yes, it touched the yes, people. it's getting to the people. Excellent. You will see him handing out everything we collected, Excellent. mostly everything. And uh, at the end of the ride, yeah, my camera would show him that he was so overworked that he was sleeping. <laughs> well, you give me too much credit, Excellent. Jose, because that wasn't just me. That was all of us in New York. And, and I know that other states did the same, but in New York, our community, our elected officials, my colleagues, everybody came through from North Country down to Long Island. Everybody was collecting Excellent. goods, mobilizing, organizing, sending donations, raising money. We did that together. And if you ask the people in Puerto Rico, we were there, everybody said the same thing. Nice. They said, you know what, while our government leaders haven't been seen, the diaspora has sent us help. The diaspora has sent us goods and they've come here to volunteer and we thank them for that. And so we have to do that. We have to continue to do that moving forward because Puerto Rico is going to have to rebuild for a long time. So we have a responsibility. 
it's not enough to hold the flag in a parade or in a festival. We have to go back. We have to take our children. We have to learn our history. We have to visit our towns. We got to make investments. We got to own that property now instead of allowing somebody else to come in and buy it all up. So we got work to do as a community. And if we don't do it now, well, we might as well say goodbye to the Puerto Rico we love. I have, right. to, I have to put this in camera. One thing, I saw this young man and the organization hand over to an organization a check for $233,000. Congratulations, Number brother. two, the last day I was in Puerto Rico on a Sunday, uh, Sunday the 12th, I called him up. He probably forgot. I called him. Because I saw a, a radical activist from New York, un machetero, dress up with a machetero t-shirt from New York, in the, lost in the streets of San Juan with five other people. I said, what are you doing here? He said, I am a part of the advanced team for Con Edison. Okay? We're here. Nobody welcome us. Nobody tells us where can we park 40 trucks that are coming in. I called this young man. I said, young man, call the governor, call everybody. And you know what it cost that team? I got him the 40 parking. You know what it cost? We told him, Bill Ali said, now you have to do La Pella first. <laughs> so they installed in the lamp post and La Pella. Nice. Okay? Nice. That's what we did. Excellent, excellent job, man. We got excellent more to do. Job. We got a lot more to do. Yes, these are the first steps, the baby steps. So get bigger, bigger. If those are your baby steps, imagine the big steps. That's all that comes. That's all 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 that's to find something wrong with your own. <laughs> so let me tell you about Fuego. My name is Danny Evans. First of all, mucho gusto. Estamos presente. Fuego's about the fire within. You're into music, fitness, or fashion. You wear Fuego as an expression of your passion. You can check out gotfuego.com. We started a Fuego Familia collection. We're donating 30% of all proceeds to Puerto Rican relief efforts, okay? Again, check, out, check me out, gotfuego.com. God bless. Stay lit.